ऑनरेबल गवर्नर ऑफ महाराष्ट्र श्री रमेश बैस ऑनरेबल यूनियन मिनिस्टर रोड ट्रांसपोर्ट एंड हाईवेज श्री नितिन गडकरी जी ऑनरेबल डेप्यूटी चीफ मिनिस्टर ऑफ महाराष्ट्र श्री देवेंद्र फडनवीस चेयरमैन सेंट्रल बोर्ड ऑफ डायरेक्ट टैक्सेस इंडियन रेवेन्यू सर्विस 1986 बैच श्री नितिन गुप्ता प्रिंसिपल डायरेक्टर जनरल ट्रेनिंग एन ए डी टी इंडियन रेवेन्यू सर्विस नाइनटीन एटी एट बैच श्रीमती वसुंधरा सिन्हा डिस्टिंगस्ड फैकल्टी मेम्बर्स एंड सीनियर ऑफिसर्स फ्रॉम द गवर्मेंट एंड द ट्रेनिज माई ग्रीटिंग्स टू ऑल ऑफ यू For anyone in my position, this is unique opportunity to engage with young minds who have proven their ability by toughest examination on the planet. Each one of you constitutes intellectual brilliance and personality of a nature that has got you in this position. when i was addressing on civil services day i reflected that india's growth story is being shaped by the vision of the prime minister and his team but is being executed by the intellect dedication and directional approach of the civil service you therefore are to be complimented for the historic achievements and accomplishments that our nation has registered so far you will be happy to note that initiative has been taken in recent years to ensure that your decision making process is as per your intellectual judgment and that was by introduction in prevention of corruption act a provision that insulates you from vulnerability friends i can tell you each one of you had option to be in public sector private sector each one of you could have taken to service in the country or outside for larger fiscal packet but the opportunity that you get here to serve your nation to make difference in the lives of a billion plus people is not available elsewhere in a sense your being in this position is indicative and reflective of your sacrifice but let me tell you whatever package you might have got the feeling of pride satisfaction respect which your parents had which your friends had which your family members had with the community in which you live had when you were selected in the service i gather from the report given that most of you have not been are not married am i right the problem your parents are facing is enormous and that is problem of plenty and that is the greatest indicator jab rishte karne walon ki line lag jati hai aur wo ek hi cheez dekhte hain na parivar ko dekhte na ghar ki sthiti dekhte wo ek hi cheez ka andaza lagate hain ki is ghar mein ek bright star hai wo aisa hi andaza lagate hain jaisa duniya mein aaj ke din kaha ja raha hai आई एम ए पर्टिकुलर कहता है इंडिया इज अ ब्राइट स्पॉट फॉर इन्वेस्टमेंट एंड अपॉर्चुनिटी तो आप लोगों का भी यही हाल है बट आई एम श्योर सून यू विल गेट योर कंसोर्ट एंड द लाइफ विल मूव ऑन माई कॉम्प्लीमेंट्स टू यू माई कॉन्ग्रेचुलेशन टू यू एंड आई विल टेल यू दैट यू आर इन अमृत का यू आर टू शेप the destiny of this country what shape this country will take 
in 2047 when we celebrate centenary of our independence. At the outset, I had indicated to you your sacrifice, challenges, and contributions. Let me congratulate all of you, the 76th batch of IRS, for completing your first module of induction training. When I looked at Vasundra ji, simple lady, polite lady, but I knew appearances are deceptive. She must be a very, very tough director, very tough taskmaster, and your body language subdued tells me this. She must have given you a tough time here. But trust me, once you step out of this institute, you will remember her every day for making you spinally strong. You will remember everything which she has imparted, her team has imparted to you. And therefore, when outwardly a director appears to be very simple, disarmingly simple, I know you must have been on your toes. This training is not an easy training. This training prepares you to face the world and your department is one of the leading departments that is not only contributing for the big change but has changed itself. CBDT chairman was right and I am witness to it. Never ever my chartered accountant was so much at ease as he was this time. I still carry the burden, friends, of having been a senior advocate because payments keep on coming delayed. Next year, sir, I will become totally salaried person. But so far I am getting other revenue also. So I told him, give me a checklist what information I have to give you. I am happy to tell you and a feather in the cap of the chairman CBDT, he said you have to do nothing. All information has been assimilated. And this is how in the largest democracy there is enforcement of transparency and accountability. These words are easy when you say them. They are difficult when you practice them. Your department has practiced it. And I am sure each one of you will work in a manner to inspire confidence of the ordinary man. There was a time when a notice from income tax department created panic. But now things are different. You have taken your taxpayer as a participant in the growth history of this country. And that is on account of the contribution your seniors have made and you will be making. I have had a very brief glimpse of the institute. You are in a wonderful environment that will allow you to unleash your energy fully. You can exploit your talent and potential under the guidance and mentorship of the director and her team. I will make one appeal to you. And this is mantra I am giving you, which will make your life relevant. Always be in connect with your batchmates. This connectivity with year passing will give you more nectar. Once you get in 40s, 50s, you will realize the importance of it. And that will make you functional all over the country. This batchmate concept is enormously innovative and fructifying concept. Believe in it. After all that has been indicated by the chairman, CBDT, Nitin Gupta ji, and Vasundra ji, 
um, I would not be reflecting on what is expected of you and what the institute is doing. But there can be no honesty in business functioning, in personal transactions, in personal fiscal behavior without you being proactive. And in the process, you will have to take a stance to make every taxpayer a partner in growth. Our tax basket has to grow. Because everything which you collect goes for nation building. But more important than that, every tax which you collect and get a new person in your tax net, that person gets an incremental trajectory. I'll tell you, you have some coercive mechanism also. I'm using lighter word. Your power is much more. When you use that coercive process, a research has been conducted and there is a PhD by someone in some university that wherever the department has conducted a search, the growth of that particular business house has been on incremental trajectory. The growth has not been geometric much more than that. This is because no one by nature wants to make a mistake. One of the greatest problems we have in our country we don't believe in systemic working. Some of the very developed countries, as they are known in the world, they have mediocrity mindset. The genius of Indian mind is unrivaled, unprecedented. The whole world is getting benefit of it. But where do we lose? We lose because we are not systemic in our working. I'll give a simple illustration and Honorable Union Minister, Senior Minister, Mr. Nitin Gadkari will bear me out. No Indian on a visit abroad has ever thrown out of a car a banana skin. He would never. The moment he lands in our country, he thinks it is first right. And he does it. But then a great step was taken by the Prime Minister, Swach Bharat Abhiyan. People initially thought what it is. And now we see the difference. There is totally different kind of mindset. I look forward for a day when we as Indians will focus on discipline on road. Once we do it, the success will be remarkable. Mr. Nitin Gadkari as a minister in charge for highways has put our country virtually in the top slot. We are having world classes, world class expressways now. But then what can a highway, four lane highway do? If in all the four lanes you have four trucks going, meaning thereby we have to learn to be disciplined. Once we inculcate the habit of being disciplined, things will be very different. The progress of our country at the moment is at a level that no large economy can match us. But I'm sure you will make the difference for sure. Interaction with young minds is always energy for us. Because fresh ideas emanate from young minds. They are fearless. They have the ability and inclination and aptitude to try something new. And I'm sure each one of you has the potential to create an ecosystem by being a real influencer in the changing lifestyle of others. People look at you as role model. People look at you immediately as an achiever. The moment they come to know about your service, and about your designation, they conclude, yes, the person is gifted with intellect, competitive approach, right attitude, and is a foot soldier of the growth history of this country. 
Friends, while you are taking care of the physical health of the country, and now you have graduated into the highest slot, there was a time when physical health used to be determined by X-ray. Then it improved slightly by CT scan. It went to a higher level and it was the highest one is EMI, not that EMI. What is that particular thing which we do, sir? Beyond X-ray, beyond CT scan? I was trying to seek assistance of my wife, but she is not obliging. But it doesn't matter, that happens. Challenges are there. And the group here is so balanced that 25 of you are girls. I have a daughter, so I get your support. So when that happens, thanks to the efforts of your chairman, he has devised a further higher mechanism of getting in the highest mode. He has brought to the department a laurel by number of statistics and quantum also. And all because your colleagues in the department have made that contribution. Each of you is part of a department that affords motto coined by Kotile. And Kotile, you know, we need to practice him, follow him, understand him. And what he reflected ages ago is relevant today. And the motto says, I quote, Kosha Mulo Danda, which means treasury is the root of administration. I don't have to state it. If a nation is developed, it has more in its treasury. If a nation is weak, its treasury is sinking. I had the painful experience when I was elected to parliament in 1989 and was a union minister. Our foreign reserves dipped to one billion US dollars. In physical form, to sustain our credibility with global financial institutions, gold had to be sent outside. And now, the other day, I was noticing our foreign exchange reserves were 596 billion dollars, and the announcement was 56 million billion US dollars. That is happening only because we are now on a path of keeping our nation fast. The revenue that accrues to the country by your dedication, commitment and hard work directly translates into positive impact on governance and on citizen-centric policies. Friends, today I have been requested to share insights but let me tell you, one of the fundamental premise of sharing insight is a sense of necessity of change in governance. And fortunately in our country in the last 9-10 years, there has been paradigm shift in policy making. And that policy making has taken a shape. Less government, more governance. When I was governor of the state of West Bengal, I was made chairman of a group of 10 governors. And all my fellow colleagues who were in my team were more experienced than I am. So to give a really productive report, I requested the Honorable Prime Minister to make available Niti Ayo so that we can really come out with a report. I then discussed in detail with my colleagues very senior governors. We took assistance of Niti Ayo and we came with a formula that in our country we have unnecessary steps. Anything that has to be done, a file you'll find 10 signatures. I have put it on record both as governor and in Rajya Sabha. A file will be signed not by more than three outer limit four people. So when a file goes from one desk to another for nothing, consuming time. Similarly, when the change comes, change comes with some problem also. You have to counsel 
hand hold, change the mindset of your colleagues. Because they may not be used to that change. People my, of my age will not be so receptive about technological development. Mr. Nitin Gadkri is an exception. Then people of your age. So you will have to get into that shape. The change in governance has to be in affirmative mode and for welfare of the people. Old ideas was change is the only constant looks old, looks we can't reconcile, but you scratch the surface and you'll find change is the only constant thing that happens. And the change is taking place. Her kaal khand me aap dekhenge. Change itna jabardast hai. Ek jamana tha, most of you are unmarried, Shadi ke liye VCR ki aafshikta padti thi. Bina VCR, VCD ke shadi nahi hoti thi. Aaj ke din raddi wala bhi nahi leta usko. Ye badal gaya system. By end of 90s, the country had a great revolution. Telephone booth. Ki aaye telephone booth pa karenge, khaan chale gaye. Gaib ho gaye. Change. I belong to an era. न तो सोशल मीडिया था न टेलीविजन था न इंटरनेट थी न कंप्यूटर था और मैनुअल टाइपराइटर था हम कहाँ से कहाँ आ गए चेंज तो चेंज वी हैव टू अडेप्ट बट द गुड थिंग इज कि इन दिस चेंज आवर भारत इज टेकिंग लीड एंड अदर्स आर फॉलोइंग अस व्हाट अ मोमेंट ऑफ प्राइड फॉर मी इन माय पोजीशन एज वाइस प्रेसिडेंट ऑफ द कंट्री कि जो लोग कल तक हमको राय देते थे दूसरे देश से आकर बताते थे हमारा काम कैसा करें दे कम नाउ नॉट टू गिव अस एडवाइस बट टू टेक आवर एडवाइस टू टेक आवर मॉडल ऑफ परफॉर्मेंस टू टेक आवर अचीवमेंट उनको लगता है कि 130 करोड़ से ज्यादा जनसंख्या वाले भारत के अंदर जब किसी भी गांव के अंदर डायरेक्ट ट्रांसफर होता है तो कहते हैं हमारा देश तो बहुत छोटा है हम ये कैसे कर सकते हैं डूइंग इट आज के दिन जो देश में हो रहा है उसकी जानकारी ये दिगर आम नागरिक को होती है तो सीना फूल जाएगा आप अंदाजा लगा सकते हो कि एक अप्रैल 2020 से आज तक 80 करोड़ से ज्यादा लोगों को सरकार की तरफ से भोजन दिया जा रहा है दे आर गेटिंग राइस सीरियल पल्स एंड ऑफ हाई क्वालिटी बींग सर्विस्ड बाई एफ सी आई एंड नाफेड तो हमारे यहाँ पहले हम क्या सोचते थे गांव इलेक्ट्रीफाई हो गया गांव में हजार घर हैं दो घर भी इलेक्ट्रीफाई हो गए तो गांव इलेक्ट्रीफाई हो गया अब ऐसा नहीं है अब है कि गांव में क्या सेंट परसेंट घर इलेक्ट्रीफाई हो गए हाई सेटिस्फेक्शन लेवल वॉज वेन सेक्रेटरी ऑफ द जल जीवन मिशन केम टू उपराष्ट्रपति भवन उपराष्ट्रपति भवन माई रेजिडेंस एंड कहा कि हमारा उद्देश्य है कि हर घर में नल हो उस नल में जल हो जल है वो प्योर हो जलो वो रेगुलर हो जलो वो राइट क्वालिटी में हो और हमने बहुत काम किया है नाउ द आई एस ऑफिसर वॉज वेरी ब्रिलियंट सी हैड बिन चीफ सेक्रेटरी ऑफ पंजाब और फादर हैड ऑल्सो बिन चीफ सेक्रेटरी तो मैंने कहा मैम टेल मी द सिचुएशन अबाउट माई विलेज वन ऑफिसर कोटअप ई सेट सर डिस्ट्रिक्ट आई सेट झुंझुनू ई सेट ब्लॉक आई सेट चिड़ावा विलेज आई सेट किठाना एंड इमीजिएटली सेट सेवेंटी परसेंट ऑफ सो मनी हाउसेज हैव नल एंड जल आई सेट गिव देर नेम्स सबके नाम थे और मेरे घर का भी नाम था हिंदुस्तान बदल रहा है आप अपने गांव में जाकर देखेंगे आज के दिन 
जो इकोसिस्टम बदल रहा है उसका अंदाज़ा नहीं है किसी को ट्रेन की टिकट चाहिए तो वो कहेंगे कि राम सिंह का बेटा ये काम करता है और वो ट्रेन टिकट दे किसी को पासपोर्ट अप्लीकेशन का करना है हो जाएगा वो दिन गए जब बिजली का बिल जमा कराने के लिए छुट्टी लेनी पड़ती थी क्योंकि लाइन लंबी थी अब ऐसा नहीं है सर्विस डिलीवरी हैज बिकम एब्सोलूटली विद अमेजिंग स्पीड और जो लेटेस्ट कानून राज्यसभा ने भी क्लियर किया है राष्ट्रपति जी के दस्खत होने के बाद कितनी बड़ी सहूलियत हो जाएगी जो मीडिएशन बिल है मैंने बहुत गहरा अध्ययन किया इट इज अ प्लेटफॉर्म टू गिव असिस्टेंस टू अ पर्सन हु अदरवाइज इज हेल्पलेस एंड दिस विल इम्पैक्ट द मेजर सेगमेंट ऑफ सोसाइटी दैट इज वेलेबल कितना बदलाव आ गया है कि पहले अधिकांश अपराधों के बारे में तो छोटे अपराध थे लेट फाइल कर दिया गलत डिक्लेरेशन हो गया सजा थी जेल 40 से ज्यादा एक्ट में बदलाव कर दिया गया है और जेल का प्रोविजन हटा दिया गया है ये जो बदलाव आ रहा है दैट विल टेक अवर नेशन वेयर वी शुड हैव बीन लॉन्ग बैक बट नाउ वी आर ऑन द राइट ट्रैक जो बदलाव आया क्राइसिस इज ऑलवेज एन अपॉर्चुनिटी चैलेंज इज ऑलवेज एन अपॉर्चुनिटी इफ यू शो वीकनेस स्पाइनल वीकनेस एंड डू नॉट शो द राइट काइंड ऑफ एटीट्यूड और एप्टीट्यूड देन अ चैलेंज बिकम्स वेरी सम अ चैलेंज बिकम्स प्रॉब्लम बट वेन यू डिसाइड टू टेक चैलेंज हेड ऑन इट बिकम्स एन अपॉर्चुनिटी एंड द चैलेंज केम इन नाइनटीन नाइनटी वन and we had liberalization it was slow but then after 2014 it is galloping i am not a stakeholder in politics i am not concerned what political parties do it's their business but i am a stakeholder like all of you in one thing good governance of the country i am a stakeholder along with you your stake is more than mine because i have lived my prime and you have to leave your prime when you leave your prime you have to be more functional so why the big change came big change came because for 30 years the country was witnessing if i may say so with uncertainties and peril, perils of coalition governance but in 2014 the country got a single party government reinforced in 2019 now some people may rise to a level and have not appreciate my statement in right perspective that i am saying getting political but i am before brilliant minds all i am telling you is that you being the most important stakeholder in governance you have to ensure that rise of our country can be on stability and the results are for all of us to see we have seen on ground the results which we could never dream of much less contemplate so in that is the reality you will see to it only few days back convention center was inaugurated look at it in what time it was executed like the new building of parliament which came into being less than 30 months 30 months are not that building i have seen inside so much has been done which you can't imagine so our capacity to execute with visionary leadership is unparalleled and that is what is taking place india's economy is on the rise i said at the university also that we are the fifth largest global economy now on way to becoming third largest economy economic growth is fundamental but it gets cutting edge and relevance when it changes lives of ordinary people ordinary person i have firmly believed and it is fundamental principle of economics you can help a man with food you can help a man with money 
You can help a man with doll. You can give all kinds of assistance. But the greatest help is to empower the person to help himself. And to see that the funds that are of the government, they by and large go for capital account, not for those kind of things which do not last long. We must in the country get a habit of development, the self life of which is much longer. Our regulatory regime is getting on fast track. And I'm happy to indicate that your department under the chairman CBDT uh, has performed remarkably. Uh, this department, though, does not concern lives of money, but concerns lives of all taxpayers. So that big change has been made. You will be doing a great service, and you will be not Indian Revenue Service, but you will be incredible revenue service if you bring more and more people in the tax net. You will be helping them. They will be happy to say, we pay tax. The moment they say, we pay tax, their mind gets agitated where my money is being used. And that is making them partners in working. E-office is functional. In Rajya Sabha, e-office is being made functional by a member of your service. 1996 batch, Grima. Indian Revenue Service, 1996. Incredible Revenue Service, 1996 is doing it. And she has done it so successfully <laughs> that if you see the chairman Rajya Sabha functioning, I am totally digital. A man at, I'm, at my age has been persuaded to be digital. That is, speaks of the strength of your service. The most revolutionary and radical transformational change that is turning out to be a game changer is adoption of technology. That adoption of technology has another important angle. And that is those who seek to make shortcuts, those who seek to make big purchases and want to hide, their game is over. The moment they do it, the department knows they are doing it. Because you have evolved a module, a mechanism, which is very successful. I'm sure it will happen. I will not focus on um, the great technological applications that the department has brought in use and happily and seamlessly for the uh, taxpayers concerned. More than 6.77 crore income tax returns for the annual year 2023-24 were filed till 31st July 2023, a 16% rise over the returns filed in the corresponding period last year. An achievement for which Mr. Gupta and his team can take pride. <laughs> but what Mr. Gupta's team has done and makes us proud, and we can tell the world our capacity of handling. On 31st July 2023, not long back, we can count it in hours, 64 lakh ITRs and more were filed in a single day. That is, speaks the strength of the technological application, its efficiency, and its robust nature. Friends, Civil servants must commit to serve the nation with pride. And that pride, as I said, incredible revenue service. So that pride is public service without personal biases. This is very important. Prejudice, favoritism, patronage, inclination corrupts the system. It is human nature to yield to such temptations. I am happy to tell you that your department has created a mechanism where personal biases 
are technologically erased. Second, rule of law implemented at grassroots levels. That is the most important level. Integrity in dealing with public, devotion to duty, efficiency in achieving policy targets, and let me tell you, your efforts are indispensable for the nation. If you walk away from your obligations, the nation will suffer. Friends, I will not take your more time, but before that, I wish you great future. I wish you good health. I am sure you are foot soldiers and warriors of Bharat 2047. You will work fearlessly, tirelessly, without tension, without stress, without fear to make a difference in the lives of the people. And the moment you will take recourse in that direction, your life will automatically will be changed. I particularly greet two of our friends from Bhutan, who they rise on their seats, two of them. Be in connect with them. I have had the good fortune of receiving trainees of various services, and I find component from Bhutan is always there. So you will have a good connect with them all their lives. And Bhutan is a good country, pictures country, country with nature has bountifully blessed. Take our good wishes and greetings to your people. I wish each one of you here great success in your life and urge you finally, always keep the nation first. National interest first. Nationalism above everything else. One thing which you will have to inculcate in, in people, in industry, trade and business, nationalism should never be compromised for fiscal benefit. Economic nationalism will grow and change our economy for the better if we don't tilt in favor of fiscal benefit because goods from outside are a little cheaper though they are available in our country aplenty. Thank you so much. Jai Bharat.